Well, welcome to you, our buoyant and illustrious audience. This is a story, one developed and formed by yours truly about some of the most fascinating individuals I ever met. Theirs is a quest, I wouldn't say fighting gods and taking down insurmountable enemies beyond minds and wits. Well, maybe. You don't know yet. But as all good stories, ours begin following a group heading forth within a tavern. But not just any tavern and not just any group. Amongst these chosen few, the heroes of our tale, pandering and walking off of their recent engagements. Though illicit in its standard, it shows their skills and cunning of a variety, even though it kind of uh, fell through. While one of their number nurses some violent wounds from a rather potent uh, fireball, the rest of them pair to meet with a contact, meet with their man on the inside at a local place known as the Yawning Portal. As they stalk and walk the open streets of a vibrant and beautiful city, we see casting around them the glintering shades of tan and brook, of stone and chiseled sand a beautiful landscape that makes up the water Davian life. Here, on these crystalline shores along the Sword Coast, with the salty sweet air mixed with the fishmongers and hard broiled tundras and spices dancing at their senses, they walk through the great city of Waterdeep, the greatest city, the city of splendor. As they make their way inside, the door opens up, and within, they see floorage. They see a massive hole in the center of the room that a few lucky or unlucky char uh, characters, heroes even, begin descending themselves down within. They saunter on over, looking over their shoulders and looking about for their contacts, but as they enter, some folk uh, nod at them and raise a glass as uh, more enter the portal. A young looking uh, waiter gal comes forth and uh, nods to each of them. They place their orders for drink. As we see the tankards land in front of each or foods as required, what do we see when we glance about the table and what is on the minds of each of our honorable thieves. Beginning with, uh, Solera. Well, Solera is, uh, sitting low, uh, which is easy because she is super short. <laughs> She's like 5'2". Um, she she has a uh, just plain old mousy brown hair. It's a little bit unruly. Um, she usually covers covers up with a, with a hood. She's you know just in general like not the kind of person that you remember seeing. Um, and yeah, she'd just be slumped back a little bit, very casually sipping at probably a, a mead or a beer, an ale. What thoughts dance across her mind at the failure of the last job? What was the thing that stuck out most in her mind as things went totally wrong? Well, she's definitely worried about Brackus, their, their companion, um, because burns are nasty. And so she would be, you know, saying some silent prayers to her god. Uh, 
you know, hoping to ease his suffering a little bit as he heals. Um, and yeah, she would be, she'd be really like analyzing what she could have done different. You know, if she had, uh, you know, been a better person. If she had, uh, sorry, my brain went blank. Had done things differently. <laughs> yeah, yeah. If she, if she had, you know, told everyone to to cut loose sooner. If she had, um, yeah. It's just she would be figuring on herself. Absolutely. As we peer, as her eyes daze into the unknown. We look across the table at our dear Graynor Nash as he trickles his hands over what meager sum they were able to make from this job on a cash that could have gotten them over 500 dragons. He sits with their total yet to be divvied up 24 dra gold dragons feel within a small bag that they were able to catch before, well, things didn't go so rotly well, he had to leave much of the purchase. What? Tell us what is upon his face, what does he look like, and what thoughts run through his mind? Um, he's kind of like thinking over what what could have done differently, trying to analyze the uh, uh, what words he could have said, but surely it wasn't him. You know, he feels like he did everything he could he was oh, sure. flawless in his part he doesn't know who's to blame but it surely c can be him as he kind of strokes his uh he's a uh, a half elf uh of 30 years um long black hair a lot like with a black goatee very much the color of um of his father's hair taking his last name but very elven of feature as he sort of uh tries to think of new new ways to ensure that the, for the next job that uh, everybody's doing their part as well as he do, does his. As his eyes glitter over the gold of the job that he knew he got right, but boy howdy, somebody must have really, really messed things up. We see the man who is most, uh, you know, watching over the folk about here as his mind is both in this moment and of his companion and of a companion far off and of a companion yet to arrive at the table as we see what of carrion his face his notice his form you see carrion situate himself at uh, at a table plopping an axe about the size of him right next to it as he sits up and kicks his feet back with a defeated look in his face. Uh, his enemies that time were, uh, were clearly able to overpower and overwhelm him, and things did not go well. As, uh, as you see him ponder across red skin and ashen gray hair, see him with a flood of thoughts in his face as he uh, scratches at an old scar in an open uh, an opening in his chainmail. As he scratches at the opening, feeling over it, uh, <clears throat> he looks onward, but then uh, he sees who he's waiting for as he, we see his hand wave up and then he pats at the table as we see a new fellow striding on over, knowing only so much of whatever caused the failings of his companions, as we see a Vililis. We see. We do see an another tiefling of bluish skin, indigo hair. One eye rose pink and the other unnervingly black as he sits down around this table and take in the 
the Baring looks around him and the, the recalling the failed attempt. I, as you sit down, uh, you look over them as you are the one who's, uh, you know, been called on over as we peer over play as sits. Uh, dear Solera, scrunkly knowing that things didn't go so well, your gnomish friend has uh, set about uh, connecting you with the, well, has basically been sending Ark all over the city looking for something, a, 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 a competently paying job that may not be too nefarious to let the the heat kind of simmer down, but to allow y'all to be able to actually afford some dinner or something. As, uh, things ain't, uh, too delicious at this moment. But the drinks laid about you are at least saying something. Yeah, well, and after, after a job like that, getting a little drink in you is pretty much all you can do. Are there any words exchanged at the table? As finally our fourth companion has sat at the table, now only awaiting whoever is uh, supposed to be meeting you. Well, Solera would probably uh, make eye contact, but not really say anything and give like a, a very pleasant wave, but, you know, not really engaging. He would wave back and give her a gentle smile. It's quite obvious to him. Got your ass handed to you. Well, I'll say it. I think we need to uh, discuss what uh, what we should do differently this t next time. Because clearly something was amiss. And I mean, they were distracted. So, I mean, I think on my end, I held up my part. I really don't think any of us were expecting the, uh, the sorcerer there to be that powerful. I mean, we were just expecting what? Run of the mill guards? Nothing, nothing like that. Well, maybe it would be uh, advantageous for us if going forward we expected that kind of uh, that kind of influence. Expect the unexpected. Sounds uh, not very doable, but all right. I wouldn't say that's. Uh, I wouldn't say that that's the takeaway from what I said, but uh, I'll uh, I'll try and expect what's happening next time, and I'll uh, I'll try and keep you informed of how to prepare. As you say that, everyone at the table, give me an agility, uh, give me a dexterity saving throw check. B. Yeah. It's not good. <laughs> <laughs> it could have been worse. Hmm. Right. Oh. Uh some reason it's not immediately showing me everything. Oh, what did everybody get? Uh, there are Arian and Valerius got a 15, Solera a 13, and Graynor a 7. Okay, Graynor, as you finish your sentence, a cup flies over and hits you in the back of the head as you're jutted forward. As you hear from behind a boisterous voice, You fucking pig! You killing my boys! You fucking whore! As there's a group of humans backing up and push, uh, uh, pushing forth on a very large half-orc woman. 
who just turns around and looks at them and begins popping her neck as uh, you see a fight between the two separate groups. The woman large but secretive. Meanwhile, the group assaulting having odd eye-shaped tattoos all over their heads. What do y'all do as you see a bar fight begin to erupt? Solera's going to hold her drink just in case the table tips over and, you know, try to stay out of the way. Who do I think hit me with the cup? Uh, <laughs> it From the trajectory, you see that one of the the fellas, the humans who are trying to stand toe to toe, the ones with the eyes over their head, they're the ones who uh, probably do it as they uh, they begin attacking this large woman. Okay, let me see. Now, are they they they're just fist fighting at this all point? No, fights. Uh, yep, no weapons uh, have been okay. drawn. All fists, all day, all time. Do you, uh, do you, any of the men that the or the the people there that are fighting this woman do? Do they have any uh, valuables on them? Or on the table. On the table, <laughs> you see uh, what looks to be one or two, uh, you know, low grade tolls that sit. Uh, they're square shape, kind of scattered. But you do see what looks like a a very interesting knife that looks to, like it has a uh, an eye built into it, and the eye itself is made up of a beautiful sapphire. Okay. I'm going to cast Mage Hand, okay. and I'm going to go over and uh, pick up that knife. Okay. Uh, give me a... Uh, you know what? Just give me a... Uh, you know what? A slide of hand check. As you're using this, uh, trying to do it without them noticing. But I'll allow you to do it because they're distracted. You get to do it at advantage. Okay. Well, that's not good. Okay. That's better. 17. <laughs> yeah. You are able <laughs> to take this ornate knife. It's a standard knife that does 1d4 damage, but it looks like it's valuable. It might have a different effect. You're not sure, but you know that that sapphire is definitely worth something. Well, the biggest thing is taking it away from the people who would dare accost me with their drinks. Absolutely. The best. Yeah, you want me to take care of him? Well, uh, I mean, I already have their their knife. Do we yeah. think that? Do you think this this uh, this woman here can handle them herself? How's the fight looking so far? Uh, she's got <laughs> one guy slamming into the ground. Another guy is hitting her upside the face as she's taking hits, and then she hits him in the chest. But she, then she takes a knee to the. Uh, uh, knee to the throat, and she begins choking. Oh. Oh, dear. Is he, uh... He doesn't really have a drink in front of him yet, though. And, uh, he, he is feeling... He's feeling pretty, uh... Angry. He he looks over to, uh... To Greynor. I'm gonna... I'm gonna be right back. I okay. need to relieve some stress. But if anybody asks, we don't know each other. As Graynor just kind of backs <laughs> away into a, a darker corner of the bar. You never know. You never knew who I was. I banged your mom once. You're appropriate. Okay, so he moves over and uh, he's gonna start wailing some schmalins. Yeah, he doesn't much like the uh, the advantage of quality. But he sees the quantity, though, and he uh, he wants to. Okay. Uh, give me a yeah, go for it. Uh, give me an unarmed combat check. Unarmed. Man. Okay. He, you enter the fray. Uh, you find that these men are drunk enough to not realize your hits hurt. Uh, but you are landing shots, but. These motherfuckers are so inebriated, it ain't caused them to get dizzied up. 
but you're you're entering the combat and swinging hard. As the rest of y'all see that he he also is getting some body shots in his abdomen, uh, and then he grabs a chair. The guy catches the chair, uh, and he's he's in this this mid fight where he's every attack he gives he receives something in return. But Carrion, how's Carrion feeling as he's in a proper bar fight? As uh, he looks back, uh, gives his uh, his I guess, uh, even party, uh, a slight look before he gets clobbered into the eye. For, Lil for Lilia, so upon being looked at, Carrion kind of just gives him a wave, like "You got this." He gives him a <laughs> grin. <laughs> he yeah. starts walking him back. He's just, yeah, he's like, he's like, "You got this. You got this, hon." The rest of y'all kind of stay out of the situation. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, perfectly valid. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, Solera's watching, and every time he gets hit, she's like, "Ooh!" But she is not getting involved. Of course, Absolutely you know. not. Nope. Uh, as he's just <laughs> go ahead. <laughs> I'm just saying he's just enjoying this, enjoying his drink. As the two of them are outnumbered but are keeping the fight going and, and pressing their advantages and taking hits when they don't. Uh, as one of them breaks, uh, uh, slamming a, another chair, grabs the broken chair, and starts uh, raises up as though he's going to use it as a weapon, we see from the hole in the center of the room, a hand reach forward and pull itself up. As oh, the God. group of you see a troll, a creature with icarish bluish green skin with um, uh, with this pungent smell. A stout alarms ring out. Warts catter over its body with wiry black hair, long carrot-like shaped nose, and bloodshot eyes. As some of the folk begin to pull away as this creature comes up, you hear behind the bar, as you uh, as you hear standing up on the bar wielding a massive great sword, you see the barkeep Durnan cream. <laughs> Are you a troll, you wee bugger? <laughs> as okay, I hide. <laughs> yeah, like up upon seeing that tr that troll, he just fucking nopes out, just grabs his drink and like walk <laughs> further as he's st still drinking. Like, he doesn't know who to watch. Does he watch this, the fucking barkeep just obliterate this troll? Or does he watch uh, carry on in the... She was a half-orc, right? Uh, yes. Uh, watch them slug it out, if they're even still slugging it out, well, but, um... I'll explain well. in a moment, but I'm hearing what you guys <laughs> say as the fighting in the fist stop as everyone turns and sees this fucking troll. What is everybody doing? <laughs> we got a hiding. We got someone grabbing the drink and pulling away. What's going on? Fucking Carrion takes that advantage to uh, to slug the one who just grabbed the fucking broken chair as a weapon. Whoa, bam! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have to he just, just smack him. He just looks back, just wham! Just yeah, runs to get his axe. Uh, you run over to grab your axe as uh, the other of these uh, these these uh, eyed fuckers begin pulling away. But as she stands up. Uh, she wa uh, she walks up seeing, and she sees you getting your weapon, and she's like, yeah, as she kicks the guy who's down that you punched, and then grabs a fucking leg of the table, and she's ready to fucking fight this thing. As, uh, what is, uh, what is Mr. Nash up to? Uh, very much just, uh, getting as far away from the troll as possible while trying to survey the, uh, the situation, trying to analyze what, uh, what he can do to assist his friends. Absolutely. Uh, those who are not engaged in the combat, don't worry. You can pull to the side and see this engagement happen. For those who... But you can if you want to. Roll initiative. Everyone who is going to be involved, roll initiative, please. <laughs> Natural. <Ooh. laughs> uh, Seems about right. As you take move to take cover, uh, you find yourself... Slipping on some ale, uh, as you try, as you have to take a moment to grab the side of this this bar, uh, as one of the, uh, the the waiters have to come over and help you to your feet, 
as you, you lose a bit of that momentum to immediately jump in and help as we pull over and we see that Carrion gets a 13. Okay. As Carrion, Yagra is behind. As you hear the boisterous fella Darnin. Oi! Let's kill this soul beggar and send it back to its home! As he cries out and screams at it, and he charges with this big fucking sword. As you see the barkeep jump, and he like plants his great sword into this thing's arm, and is just hanging there as he turns his head as he's hanging from its arm. Someone approach this bastard! As I'll go for it. Yeah, the creature is going to go after Yagra, so you are next, my friend. Hey. He's gonna he's gonna rush in with his axe. Or he's yeah. gonna try to he's gonna try to shove that thing. Yeah, axe hit a question, homie. Yeah. Like almost like an axe punch and trying to force him back. Go for it, go for it. Be an 18. Ooh, yeah! Nice. Give me that damage. That definitely hits, homie. Four points of damage. Okay. As you swing your mighty axe, you do the literal minimum that you can do. I'm kidding. No. Uh, <laughs> you do it all right. As you swing and you strike this sum of bitch, uh, it, uh, the, the weapon, it swings as though it's going to strike but at the moment it is about to make impact, the creature uh, narrowly pulls back, but to do so causes it strain and difficulty. As it snarls seeing you, this thing is a bit more maneuverable than you previously were asserting. Fuck. As Yagra does what Yagra do. Charge. Uh, someone like, please roll uh, a d20 for me. I don't want to have to roll yeah. everything. All right, yeah, I'll do it. Thank you. You're very right? kind. Go for it. All right. Uh, D20. How do I do that in here? Uh... Bottom left. Yeah, I see it. Sick. Uh, see 18. her? She comes up and starts wailing on its leg. Just starts fucking wailing it. <laughs> As we see uh, Grenor, what's... What do you do as uh, you finally are, have found your footing and you see a man hanging from a sword that is currently in this creature, your companion uh, trying to strike it with his axe, but it's narrowly dodging, and then a half-orc woman come up and start smacking it, that motherfucker in the side with a wooden leg. Uh, I'm going to try to cast Charm Person on the troll. Okay, go for it. So the troll must make a wisdom saving throw. And it All does right. so with advantage. With advantage? Got it. Yes. Okay. So well, it is going to be a DC 15 wisdom. Oh! I believe a 5 is a failure, homie. Mm hmm. Because the, the the funny thing, I ro it rolled a 1 and then a 5. Ooh. Uh, so it does not nice. succeed. As. Hmm. You, uh, as you begin melding its mind, what, tell us of what the spell looks like. Give us a taste of your magic. Uh, I reach, like I stare, I look at the troll's eyes and stare into it, even though it's not focused on me, and just try and reach my, uh, my spell into, through its eyes, into the brain behind. And as the I can feel the the anchors of the spell hook into its brain, it turns its eyes towards me, and uh, we form a connection, and it trusts me, albeit just for one hour. <laughs> as the creature ceases its combative attacks, um, as Durin, uh, he just lets go of the sword and just drops down to his feet. And he points his weapon. I say, like, "Give that back, you bogar!" As uh, what? What do? Uh, what does Carrion do? As uh, it's no, no longer. Attacking. Oh, uh, he sees. Uh, he sees the barkeep struggling to get his weapon back, and attempts to help him get it back. 
Uh, you know what? I won't even make you roll as you, you, you begin like wiggling the sword out of this creature. <laughs> uh, I do have to roll in case it. Uh, it does not attack as you wiggle the blade out of it, and uh, he uh, he nods and he pats you on the shoulder. Good on you, lad. As the uh, the woman, uh, she's like. So is it not going to attack us? No, he's a friend now. He saw the error of his ways. What's your name, friend? Idan Dunkumbo. Ah, beautiful name. Jekaumokol da awaka. As you I'm know, afraid... a speaking giant. Yes, I'm afraid I'm, my uh, my giant is a little rusty. Um, but if you would kindly uh, climb back in your hole uh, so we can finish our drinks here, that would be most pleasant. Mm. As it begins climbing down. Yes, moaha to you as well. Good day. And such, the engagement is closed. And everyone looks around, and they cheer uh, from their hiding places as they raise their drinks and cautiously take a sip. Scarion gives a faint little battle cry, but his raspiness causes him to choke on it and start coughing. As he coughs and chokes uh, from behind, uh, the half-orc uh, woman uh, comes up behind him and uh, smacks him on the lower back. Uh, causing him to short just a bit. Mmm. You're not too bad. Good in a fight. Glad to see. Yeah, you yourself. Uh, you know, I don't like the way those guys just, you know, gang up on people. Mmm. Yeah. Kind of one, ain't ya? Glad to meet. Name's Jogra. And she winks at you. Arian. As he, uh, he goes for a fist bump. He fist, uh, she fips, fist bumps back as, uh, eh. she gives him a fist bump back as she, uh, smirks and then looks at the pe the leg that she has and just throws it down the hole. And you hear Darren, I damn it! That was too Valerian! That was some good wood! Ah, I guess I'll get replaced. All right, everyone! Back to your places! And for those who take back in, uh, Sit, uh, half price on all drinks for the next five minutes. As people cheer, as, uh, he looks to you and then, uh, looks at, uh, as he nods to you. In particular, Carrie, and for getting in involved as he, uh, he, uh, passes you a bottle of fire wine. Yeah. But it's for being a good sport. As he pats your arm and then goes back to his place, loading his uh, great sword, uh, hammer claw of epic fiery destruction. That is the full name. As he places it back on its mantle. And uh, what for the hero who defeated the troll? Oh yeah, I, I, I knew I tasted the smell of magic. As he uh, reaches over and he uh, grabs up a small bag and he tosses it over to you. I'm going to open up the bag. As you look inside, you see an ornate ring. Ooh. Does it um, have any magical qualities or is it just fancy looking? You take a moment. You breathe. Do you have identify? Uh, I have detect magic. You go ahead. <laughs> yeah, you use detect magic. But yeah. You were able to detect a glow of arcane power. Okay. Do I know... Uh, I should be able to tell what school of magic it's from. If there is one. Uh, you are able to this... Uh, uh, you're able to detect the spell of... Conjuration. Ooh, a conjuring ring. I'm gonna put it on. Alright. As you place the ring upon your hand, 
At first, you're not sure what it's supposed to do. As you take a moment to consider and look about, um, you find as you lift up your hand, you are able to see a momentary apparition as you see a sword, a spectral blade, ablaze in your hand as this is a ring of sword burst. Hmm. Can we all see that too? All of you can, absolutely. Hot damn. Damn. Darian so gives you a clap. What? Good talk. Mm. <laughs> what, did you say something <laughs> to me? I thought you were making a statement. No, I, I simply just said uh, carrying gives you a clap. Oh. So what am I supposed to do to that? That's not a talk. You just said you did something. Yeah, I just said a statement. I didn't say anything to you. Then why'd you say good talk? <laughs> we had a solid ten seconds of silence and no one said anything. No. I feel personally attacked. <laughs> Uh. But uh he sits back down with his uh with his energy, his adrenaline finally simmering down a bit. As you're cooling down from your heroic stance. As uh she walks over, uh she seems to be going her way, but Yagra turns back and she uh uh nods and winks over to you. I won't I won't forget this, Carrion. You're a good one. I, ho uh, I hope you stick around. However long that might be. Yeah, you seem like you're great company. She uh, nods and then uh, she goes off on, uh, filled with pride after her uh, small bout and engagement. Uh, going why back over and drinking. Why don't you invite your friend over for a drink? If she wants. I think she wants. Drinks? <laughs> Yaga? Oh, sh I <sighs> thought you never ask. As she uh, comes over and sits in one of the broken chairs, it's barely sitting. <laughs> As uh, she happily takes on some drinks and, you know, she, she definitely has the air of someone. Uh, she has definitely considerable muscles, but she also has a deftness and skill. As though she's uh, far more deft of hands than she may appear but as she uh, drinks and chattels amongst the group of you, eventually coming over you hear a voice pitter off loud over the situation oh that was quite marvelous, quite marvelous indeed as those who look, they see uh, what looks to be a hat and then Pulling his weight into the chair, they see a gnomish fellow with a very fine beard. As all of you recognize Bolo, Bolathamp, Gadarm, the world renowned monster, uh, uh, monster register, as well as the world explorer. Holy shit. I believe I was set to speak with a group of kindred and capable folk. Oh, well met. I might I say well met. Smart ones took cover. The foolish and brave ones took to the fight. Yes, you are the perfect individuals for what I'm needing. I need a variety of thought and mean. A group of you have that in spades. Listen. If the group of you know, as I'm sure you can tell, I am Volathamp Gadam, chronicler, wizard, celebrity at your service. I trust you've noted the uh, <coughs> violence in our fair city these past ten days. 
Ooh, I haven't seen so much blood since my last visit to Baldur's Gate. <laughs> but now I fear I have misplaced something very important. A sweet friend amid this odious malevolence. And the group of you, I hope, are the ones to aid me in discovering his location. And who is this? My dear friend, Floon Blagmar. My friend, he's, a, he's got more beauty than brains. He's a, a tall, red-handed, handsome, an idiot. And I worry he took a bad way home a couple of nights ago and was kidnapped. Or As he looks over the broken down place and sees that one of the uh, individuals with the tattoos over his head is still being dragged out. Uh, worse. Yeah, I fear that if he cannot be found soon... Uh, well, I am asking if you could track him down with all due haste. I can offer you ten dragon apiece right now. And I can offer you ten times the value when you find Floon. Doesn't but I seem too hard. Quest. Oh? Sorry. Go ahead. I was just going to ask if I could add in a, a request as well. Um, of course, of course. Of, of course, um, what was your name? Carrion. Pleased. Yes, Carrion. Speak and be heard. Uh... Just like you, I'm also in search of, uh, of someone. Uh, I don't know if you would know his name, but, uh, he is, uh, he was a soldier from the Lord's Alliance as well. Lord's Alliance, his yes. Name. Of course. Telwyn Thunderkick. Telwyn Thunderkick. Unfortunately. He's, he's un Go ahead. He's unfindable. <laughs> I, I know not this name. I give you my pity. Surely the Lord's Alliance would have tracked his location. Aye, but I haven't been able to get in contact with uh, their captain uh, either. I will keep Thunderkick in my thoughts as well, especially if you all can be able to do this. I will spare no expense in his safe return. As I... Spare no expense in the safe return of my friend. And we'll what do what we can. What was your friend's name again? Floon. Floon Blagma. How do you spell that, sir? Well, you spell it like this, as I'm putting in the chat. <laughs> so I write on a magical text box. <laughs> <laughs> Beautiful arcane I can do these days. As he gestures his hand and prestidigitates each of your drinks to smell like strawberries. Ooh. Squig. Oh, like strawberries. Ooh. But Lilius loves that. I my magic has gotten me through some terrible moments. You don't know fear until you would have to tap dance for the joy of an Aboleth. Good God. By the divine, oh. it's quite a situation. Oh, go ahead. Anyways, as he pulls out and he hands, uh, sets in front of each of you ten gold pieces in a small pouch. Add that to your value. What was with, what was with the twenty four gold dragons to divide? I I had trouble con uh, connectivity issues. That was the money from the last job that was worth five hundred dragon gold. Uh, you I, guys made off with only twenty four to divide amongst yourselves. Okay. Okay. It, it it didn't go well at all. And how much how much am I adding to my coffers? That depends because uh, Nash currently has that 24 in his hands. And you know, if he divided it, you know, to each of those who were at, you know, here right now, it would be eight to the three that did that job. 
I will do that. Yeah. Don't forget to cut in the injured guy. <laughs> the, uh, any any gold from that job that you it's not going to? to... <laughs> As I was saying, yeah, like if you try to hand that to him, he will very politely scoot it back towards you because he was not a part of that. Oh, don't worry about that. Good. That's why. So yeah, I don't. <laughs> yeah, Na Nash doesn't give money, you know, willy nilly. Good. He doesn't part with it easily. So, well, if you were cutting in him a cut, yeah. it would be six per person. I'm so, not. You are not. Okay. Yeah, Na <laughs> Nash. Nash won't won't part with his money easily, which is why he doesn't play cards with me anymore. There. So how much was it? So eight. you were given eight, and then from this guy you're receiving ten, so you're currently receiving eighteen. Okay. Oh. He'll he'll spend about half of that already on uh, drinks. Hell yeah. <laughs> drinks for him and uh, Yagra giggity. Yeah, so she will happily take your drinks as she's uh uh as she gets more inebriated as she uh she finds herself uh scooting real close to carrie and the the one she deems is a the badass of the group so so does that eight does that account for um for uh gosh i'm blanking brack uh not at all it does not include him at all as stated he split it Three ways of eight instead of six ways of four. Oh, he entirely okay. is cutting breath because he's not here <laughs> no. and he's the master of the money. <laughs> but to be fair, odds are he's had medical bills that had to be paid for. So it's only fair that you're taking this money. <laughs> <laughs> Exactly. Yes, yeah, so you guys should have a, a total... A, a, on top of whatever you have for your backgrounds and your uh, equipment, you should, of those who are currently here, uh, should have either 18 for you three or 10 for Lilianas. Yes, uh, 5 from the Far Traveler and 10 from this um, person, so... There you go. Already done, worked with. Yes. Ah. Of course, of course. Um, so. What I can tell you is that uh, Floon, again, as I said, uh, he's about in his 30s, wavy red hair, brain like rocks, face like, you know, like that Fabio fellow. Uh, he was dressed in very uppity garb last time I saw him. Two nights ago, before Floon disappeared, I and my sweet friend were drinking and making merry by the Skewer Dragon, a body tavern off the Dark Ward. Volo, myself, what? Maybe this drink is getting to me. As he uh, takes another swig of it. Yeah, that's getting me going. Um, I thought it would be best that we would hang around there, even though it was a bit on the Bruce aside, I didn't think that this would be a problem for the two of us. But, needless to say, I, that's where I would suggest that you start your journey. And for those who want to, I have placed in this chat a interactive map of Woderdeep. Meep. your map say again I said I will judge your map we'll judge it thank you probably... oh. I haven't seen this one uh -huh. nice full interactive um, as you point at the locations it'll tell you some information about it if you click on it and it has every location broken down so I don't have to I'll, I'll of course detail and explain as you go to places but if ever you guys want to go to a location in the city, if you want something, you want to meet somebody, you want to do something, here's the map. 
as well as it shows you the locations of each of the big old statues. Excuse me. Yeah. I'm just a little guy. Uh, as you can look to the south, you will see the whole of the dark wards. But traversing such a place uh, will definitely take a bit of time. <laughs> As well, uh, being that you guys are currently located somewhere near the, the midst of the massive city, it, you could walk there, which will take about an hour. You could rent a carriage, which will take about, uh, about 30 minutes. Um, or you could, you know start an illicit relationship with a griffin calvary and get there in some amount of time. I'm going to go with that one. Wait. It's going to be a lot of effort, but I believe it. <laughs> I mean, Yagra, you wouldn't happen to know any uh, griffin riders, would you? Um, no. Not exactly what you'd call a good side of the law there. Ah, uh, well, aren't we all? But thank you for thinking so highly of me. Oh, you truly are a sight to behold. Oh. You make her feel all bubbly inside, and it's not just the alcohol. <laughs> <sighs> I'm having trouble on the map, Arino, finding where we are currently. Are we near type the in, Type in the yawning portal into the oh. upper left-hand side, oh. and you'll see we are on Cook Street, right? Right oh. near the... Uh, that is awesome. Yeah, it's actually super sweet. Full access. Yeah, good. you can you can see anywhere and everywhere. It's fucking awesome. Damn. Yeah, full disclosure, in 3.5 I ran many campaigns here, so I actually... I'm well versed at the city. I I think we talked about that, or at least the, you I, knew the city well. Yeah, but the yawning portal didn't really exist. So. Oh yeah, it only started existing after Morden Canaan went absolutely butt fuck insane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. I'm happy to walk. No, I don't mind walking either. Okay. I should have had the troll carry me there. You know, <laughs> would have cut down on postage. All right. So are you guys heading right there? Or did you have any questions? If you have anything, fast. No, I... I got nothing to say. Uh, I mean, any additional details? Uh, any, uh... What, uh... Like, what about, is there any additional details about this person you can give us that would uh, help us find out if, uh, what his uh, inclinations would be? Uh, my friend Floon? Yes. Oh, Floon is a sweetheart. He is, a uh, well, he is, a uh, how can I best explain Floon? You see, he comes from a family that deals in the finest parts of the world. He comes from a long line of dung sweepers, but he comes from a prestigious members of these families, and he is the most well-versed in a variety of languages. And by that I mean he knows common and for some reason learn giant. Um, me and him would often have drunken bouts where we would yell and gigantic and and we'd make copious amounts of meaty jokes at the expense of the Thunder Giants. It was you know, actually quite a wonderful time. Oh, I miss his Jess. But, as I said, he is blunt as a end of a broken spear. Like, this man is so dumb. Let me tell you how dumb he is. He is so dumb, he once tried to go cow-tipping a griffin. He cow-tipping doesn't that. exist. <laughs> he, <laughs> him, he's an, an extreme in, uh, alcoholic and I feed into upon, his addiction because I love him as my friend <laughs> uh, upon hearing this cow tipping which doesn't exist to a griffin but the fucking villain is just 
he's like trying to process this, and then he just fucking drinks. Of course, of course. <sighs> as uh, uh, as well. Oh, as he pulls out, uh, I have been working on my new book as well. Does anyone want a, a, a autographs? Four nibs, and I'll hand you a book with an autograph. As he holds out little pamphlets that say uh, "Water Deep in Kiridan." I mean, I can read your book and give it uh, some sort of review, you know. That would help with exposure. I, I'm a wizard. I know all about your schemes, you sick little man. I'm not falling for your exposure shit. I'm just, I'm just trying to help you, sir. That's not helping me. You're the reason why the arts are dying. You are... Excuse me, sir, but you are trying to get an autograph from someone who hasn't read your book. I don't know whether I want your autograph yet or not. Are you, are you dumb? You haven't read my guide to monsters. No. And you're... You, you live. You walk. In our world. And don't know about the creatures that go out outside. Of course I do, but there's other authors than yourself. <laughs> They all suck. I'm the best. <laughs> we'll prove I it. Was, and... Are you kidding me? All of them are first-hand accounts. I was there. I I went to talk to a goddamn revenant. Do you know how boring it is to talk to someone from like 500 years ago? You have nothing in common. No, I don't know because I've never read your book. Have I'm you afraid. ever sailed out in the open sea with a storm giant that constantly belches? It's like listening to a war drum. You can't sleep. I'm just, I'm just slipping down into my seat, like sipping on my drink, <laughs> very slurpy, like I'm slurping tea. <laughs> he's just, he's just <laughs> turning his head, and he's trying not to laugh as he's also slurping his drink. I'm now Volo. Remember your blood pressure. Oh, goodness. Oh. I... What is your name, sir? My name? Yes. My friends call me Nash. Okay. But you can call me Graynor. Thank you for being so kind to allow me to name you one of two options. Ugh. Listen, Mr. Nash. A smart fellow like you would do yourself well... To, to purchase one of my very skilled and very personal and very, very, very informative uh, autobiographies of the many creatures that exist throughout the spectrum and world. I bring a sense of quality, Emanouche, that has not been seen in the textual form since Zirben Araban. And, and that wasn't from me. That was from multiple critics that speak of, you know what... I'm wasting time. I care more about my friend Floon than your perceived illusion of competence. That is not my problem. That is not my issue. Please uh, help I was just I was just trying to help you. I, I clearly you don't want my assistance and you wouldn't <sighs> like you don't want me to read your book. Uh I, I, I glance over at, at the new guy and I'm like, awkward. Oh, he, he, just, he just nods, you know, and he has like a, a big smile on his face and he's <clears> sipping <throat> his drink. He's like, oh, Maker's breath, why? I'm yeah. so uncomfortable. Unlike you. Wanna, do you just want to slip away and walk or? Well, unlike you. There are people who have pictures of me on their wall. So how about you skitter on and I'll pay you what you're worth for saving my friend and then we don't have to talk about this ever again. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna nudge Nash. Give him a little shove, be like you just 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 move on. Just go. Just just go. Don't argue with the client. Go. Exposure, what in the seven hells? He, you're supposed to be the, the, the one who's good with people. 
I I am good with people. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> you must forgive him, it's the alcohol. What's the alcohol in his stubborn brain? Yep, I am gonna slip out. Yep. And start heading to where we're supposed to go. Uh, after a moment of just watching this, he's, uh, Vili uh, Vilili is just gonna slip out too and leave and get where we need to go. Arian won't slip out. He will say his farewells to everyone. Polo and Yagra. As yep. you step he's out. Gonna offer Yagra a big old kiss. <laughs> I mean, maybe. <laughs> so, as uh, you s turn to step out, uh, Yagra steps forth. Listen here, handsome. If you ever need a job or want to get to know each other better, oh hell, need a bit of help with anything. As she uh, passes you a small note with an image of Fuck off. She slide into his DMs. <laughs> As she hands you a image that should not be as much of an asshole as it is right now. I see the image. She sent him a picture of his asshole? <laughs> yeah, she sent him a picture of you. <laughs> there you go. That's hot. You know, I dig it. <laughs> Look at this guy. As she uh, nods to you as you step out, and then she uh, she seems to go her way. And Vo uh, 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 Volo calls over. Thank you again, dear Carrion. I wish you and your s mostly kind friends best of luck. <laughs> yes, and truly sorry about the behavior. See, oh. he dabbles, but he's no master. Uh, I remember when I was that young, 200 years ago, so brash, so foolish, so up my own ass. Okay, good luck. Yes, yeah, safe travels to you as he uh, wanders out and he's going to use the can real quick. Ah, that makes sense. All right. I don't care why oh, that guy was so up with you. Gotta use where's the, the fighters room? <laughs> where's the uh, where's the new picture? I don't see it. Picture of what? Oh, I thought you posted something. I sent. Uh, I showed oh, Carrion okay. an image. Got it. Okay. Excuse me, I have burped. He's drunk. Slip out while you can. Out now. Okay. <laughs> As it takes you all over an hour to make your way on Diggity Hill. As you make your way, you see coaches and trailants moving about. You see folk moving about their days. Drinks had between. Uh, as you step into the, uh, uh, from the more, you know, upper docks and trade wards begin to step into the dock ward where you see a change in varieties of people there's a you know from the casting uh, millers and such onto more of the fishmongers and midlanders operators of the vast open waves as well as uh, different you know necessary works and off to the right you of course can see the exterior of the Hillock Corte, um, as you pass down Snail Street, bleh, the group of you <laughs> begin to see the the landscape uh, being more dreary, less beautiful. Mist um. to fill itself in. Yep, that's home. Boy, that mm. yeah, yep. Yep, oh. yep, yep. Uh, yep, where uh, where people sleep in the streets. 
if they're lucky. I mean, at least they can. Oh no, the guards crack down on sleeping in the streets as often as possible. Can't know. Yeah, that's because they're pricks. <laughs> he remembers to not be so lackadaisical down here and keeps a closer hold on his coin purse. Aye. The air about you is uh, not too dissimilar and yet all the same familiar. As, like the trade district, you needed to keep your eye a little bit on your purse and your equipment, but here... Folk would steal coin and life, given a condition. But the average fellow is a surly and muscular folk. Down here, it's the harder-pressed, lower income, but twice as girthed in sturdiness. A certain salt of the earth is a commonality here, and so too are those who prey on such people. As your making your way outside, uh, heading downward of Snail Street. The, the group of <laughs> you find yourself preparing to make uh, preparing to make a certain turn downward. As you see, uh, there's uh, in route, you see that there are a few city watch making about place as you hear a whistle but a much finer whistle than what I can provide, because I suck. Yeah, the City Watch has really got to invest in better whistles. Uh, well, <laughs> the sad thing is, is that many of them have had to resort to their fingers and mouths, as down here the uh, the City Watch doesn't receive, receive the finest of quality City Watch guards in such a nefarious and broke-down area. Some of the finest guardsmen are throughout majority of the city, but those here work with the meager excess of scraps, as this district has been allowed to, uh, well, it's not as bad as the Southern Ward, but it's definitely on the, quote, cheaper side of living, if one can catch what I mean. The guards, work he the guards that work here work twice as hard, or often half of the pay. As see these uh, guardsmen as you turn the corner you find yourselves in the street cornered off by these city watchmen lying on the cobblestones are half a dozen corpses seemingly the victims of some terrible scourge the watch officers have disarmed and arrested three blood drenched humans and are in the midst of their questioning VA one of the officers looks on to your congregation as uh, they step forth get on Nothing to see here. I mean, what about the bodies? <laughs> Listen, you chuckle fuck. Are you gonna make an issue or make your way on? No issue, we're, I'm just making an observation. Yep, yeah, sorry they're keeping you busy today. Aye, more of them bastards. More dead folk. Do uh, do any of the dead or the blood-drenched people look like Fabio? Take a moment. Anyone who would like to be super cool as you look over the bodies, um, some of you can... The general gets... Uh, the general get that you gather from the sequence without making any rolls yet, or anything excess, is that you're able to see that the individuals have a variety of tattoos and scattered bodies and limbs. You see that uh, they have a variety of these scattered about their body. You see on one side and amidst the corpses, individuals with those same eye tattoos scattered over their heads. Meanwhile, upon a few of the others, one of you in particular see a very similar image. As 
if any one of you is reasonably skilled in perception, feel free to make a roll. Yeah, I well, would like to make a roll. You. Uh, 18 plus, sorry. So, yeah. As. Oh, go ahead. Mm hmm. I'm just gauging who all has passed. So. As. Uh, Nash and Val uh, Valelius. Look over the scattered corpses, and you can be able to tell that these individuals, in the midst of this conflict, um, two or three of them must have been knelt on their knees, given the blood spray, and they were had their throats slit. Several of the others died in an open engagement, but three of them leaned forth. This was, this was more than just a scrap, more than just a fight. Three of these individuals were executed. Hmm. Meanwhile, there are three others who seem to, uh, who are still alive, uh, are over being locked in their place. And they. The Do they have the eye, uh, uh, eye tattoo as well, or the, the three... eye symbol? On the other side, bear this symbol. Specifically, the two of you. God damn it! I didn't even need to see this. I just saw the the name. Yep. Yep. There you <laughs> yeah. Go. I can't even open the file. I don't know if it's That's the same okay. for everyone else, but I know. Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. As. You are able to garner this image in your head as you see what looks to be a, like a small dragon that is uh, encircled by a yellow flame. And it looks like the small dragon is consuming uh, a sphere. Oh dear. And I... Uh... Carry and make sure his his little slip of paper is well hidden and secure. Absolutely, now. absolutely. What do you think you're starring at? As he calls, gating the tension of those that look a little too close. Oh, well, clearly, a bunch of bodies. I'm gonna be on my way, and he kind of just turns around, try to. He, he saw what he wanted to see. His curiosity somewhat fit him, but as he steps away. Mm-hmm. Yes, it seems like you have uh, quite a lot on your hands. Uh you're doing uh you're doing great work here though. We all appreciate you. Well that someone does. It's gotten quiet bad around here. But Got the faith of even some gobber and millabouts. Think we got something. Be safe and cause no trouble. Take uh, care. In incidentally, have you seen anyone that looks like Fabio? The, 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 the pretty man from all the like the, the, the commercials on the billboards uh -huh. and stuff. Yeah, exactly. Him, as he points over and you just see a picture of uh, the one known as Fabio uh, in his flowing beautiful hair uh, seems to be selling some form of uh, some brand of uh, per, uh, uh, parfum as he's holding it aloft as though uh, it is some mystical crystal beyond reality yeah not not him but like him uh, no okay thank you Bobby is supposed to be around here. No, it's a, a man who was described to look like him. 
very handsome. Uh, oh, no, sounds like him. This is like a beautiful man. Yeah. Beautiful. Oh, thank you for your time. And <laughs> I slip away. <laughs> did he just murmur that under his breath? Yes, he did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Did we just awaken something inside of this guy? <laughs> yeah, he, 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 you, you made him realize all he's being around all these salty, sweaty sailors all the time. You guys uh, awoke the truth within him. Awoke. He awoke. only just realized. Hey, only we now. all gotta come out of the closet sometime. I mean, self -real self self realization and self actuation is the first step. Then oh yeah, self actuation. <laughs> Tall, densely packed tenements leave most of the neighborhood in the shadow of ground level. Most of the street lamps have had their glass smashed and their candles stolen. The smells of salt and excrement linger as you pass by rows of run down nearby shop stands out from the others. It has a deep purple facade. Its in window hangs a stuffed beholder. Above the door hangs a sign whose elaborate letters spell out Old Zoblob's Shop. Across the way, you see what looks to be a skewered dragon. Like uh, roasting on a spit, or like yes, literally, it looks kebab? you see an image kebab style on the board oh, of an a kebab okay. dragon. Nice, hanging loosely, part of it broken and kiltered, as it uh, dances back and forth. As you see in the window of Zoblob's shop, or at least that's what the name states, uh, there seems to be a uh, dark-skinned figure watching out watching intently. Also, too, you see in front of the skewered dragon image uh, smashed windows and what looks to be a ship's anchor lodged in the roof. So, this shop has a uh, certainly a lot going on. Have uh, any of you uh, ventured into the shop or uh, know of its wares? Nope. No. Looks like would souvenirs, I, though. Would I know anything? Do you know anything about Zoblob Shop? I was asking for a roll because I... <laughs> never mind. If you've never heard of Zoblob Shop, your character likely has never really heard of Absolutely fair. I want to go in. You want to go in? Uh, yeah, screw it. Let's go in. Step inside. The stuff beholder in the window, a fixture that seems to resonate as you step within. The eyes kind of glow a little bit as the door opens and you hear what sounds like a little bell rings at the top. And then look onward and you see uh, looks to be a darkened smaller figure with little goggles on his head uh, as he seems to power over as you see his first neighborlin a deep gnome seems to have uh, denotations of gas spore burns that stray the left side of his cheek as the uh, smaller fellow turns and looks to your Oh, welcome. How can I help you? What brings you to old Zoblobs? Curiosity. Wanted to see what was in here. I'm interested about the, uh, the very expertly stuffed beholder as well. No relation to the eye tyrant hanging there. No worries. Come on in. Ah. Yes, yes, yes. A beautiful little figure, ain't it? As Very he much. reaches behind and he sets down five of them as they uh, they make a little 
sound whenever you squeeze them, and he sets them, and they all mm-hmm. glow up a little bit, and the eyes do a little blinking motions and little lights. That's adorable. I want one. Perfect. Uh, it'll be ten dragons. But if you buy four right now, it'll only be seven a pop. Oh, you drive a hard bargain. Can we, can we make it six and, and a little bottle of, of fire wine? Oh, you got some fire Smoothie. wine? I mean, he was handed a bottle of fire wine. Mmm, you know what? I'll take it. <laughs> As he hands out several little figures and awaits his payment. So you're, it, did you, you're paying six for one, or or were you doing six for each one? Uh, he looks back at his party, and uh, what, what does the other little shop, do? does the little shopkeep want one? Shopkeep? No, it's a shop. Yeah, a little store owner. Yeah, yeah, yeah he's the shop. He, he owns. He literally sells them. No, I'm talking about Jesse's character. Oh no. shit! I'm so sorry. The other sorry. It, yes. Sorry. What were you? <laughs> Valilius. He, he was seeing. Uh, Carrion was seeing if Valilius wanted one of these cute little figures. It, he's been eyeing it. And he's like, you know, he's pursed his lip, but he's... You, you can see... They have tails, right? Yeah. Holder? I, no, 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 the teeth, the teeth, I know, yeah. Oh, yeah. The, the teeth have tails, uh-huh. Yes. Okay, good. As his unusually rather, his rather long tail's like, flicking. Excitedly, yes. <laughs> he's not saying anything, but yes, he indeed wants one. He looks at his gold, and he looks at the uh, the bottle. He tosses the bottle, or he doesn't toss it. He slides <laughs> it to the little gnome dude. Uh, he pulls out his pouch. He pulls out 18 of his uh, gold coins. Thought I had more. <laughs> Damn it. You know what? I like you. As he takes it, and he'll take all the all that money you give him, and he gives you all these little fellas. Oh. You're so kind. Listen. You're very kind folk, and I don't get many kind folk in my region ever. May these brighten your warm your day. He uh, loads the money into the little, uh, little uh, chest. And if ever you need any trinkets, curios, curiosities, and querels, I, at Zoblob's shop of Zoblob's shop, Blob, shall, of course, have plenty to sell you. I, I, just out of curiosity, at chance, uh, Mr. Zoblob's shop of Zoblob's shop, um, close enough. I am, we are looking for someone as well. Uh, if you might be able to help us out a bit. Well, I'll see what I can do. What are you? Who harm me? Ha ha. What? He, uh, <laughs> he gives out. <laughs> he who ha uh, gives out. No one's going to question that? <laughs> <laughs> no. I'm too. <laughs> Why would you question the deranged little deep gnome? <laughs> it seems to be really out of it. <laughs> It's the best He's thing. already started hitting the the wine. Fuck yeah! Oh, shit, this shit's yeah. good. <laughs> yeah, it's fire wine. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck the do you do with your free time? This shit was good. He uh, he gives the description of of Floon, and uh, asks if he'd seen anyone like him. Hmm, fellow. Yes, a well-dressed fellow. Um, very, very intriguing, of course. He reminded me of someone. But yes, I remember seeing him. He was, uh, he was outside the shop. Rough-looking men came. I believe they had some black leather armament. I think there were five of them. 
None of them look familiar. They were definitely not from around here. I couldn't discern anything key about them. They kept themselves quick and maneuverable. Use the dark, you see. Nefarious bastards. But what could I do? One of them looked through the window and saw me, and I couldn't run the risk that they would call for retribution. But I'm sure if you, as opposed to the city guard, or God forbid the city watch, I'm sure the group of you could do something. Save that poor soul. Oh, thank you very much you, for the information. Did you, you see which direction they took them? Yeah, yeah. Any directions, or was it uh, were they were they on you too quickly? Uh, unfortunately, but when he looked to me, I looked as though I was busy. I didn't get to see which direction they went to. But I did see them scattering about out of the skewered dragon. I'm sure whatever information you need might hail from there. He, uh, he gives the shop peep a big old grin. And he, he, he thanks him. Of course, my boy. May your travels be safe. Or, oh, if they're unsafe, that you're the one to rise on top. Yes, and may, may Zoblob Shop of Zoblob Shop be very prosperous. You know, that didn't make any sense, but I love it. Thank you. I'm kidding. Ah, Remind me what the full name was. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, Y'all are all right. I, I like you. <laughs> Jesus, that's not creepy at all. We'll slowly back out of the show. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It just, it just like collects all of the little figures in his arms and just starts slowly backing out. Eyes looking at it. <laughs> Uh, Lilius is trying to trying to snag one of the figurines as he uh, follows. And remember, they're not uh, washer safe. You have to clean them by hand. Thank you. As you all exit and walk outward, uh, we see the little man uh, just give us a little sigh of breath of as he smiles. And then he grins. And then he goes back to his rub. Yep. Uh, As we yep. see Arian. a small figure hanging by, uh, by his uh, side chain, one that is very reminiscent of uh, a tyrant. As we see the group of y'all head on over, you have these adorable little figures now. Oh man, yeah. I am. You were saying? He was gonna. If he didn't already take one, he handed one to you. And uh, among the rest three, he keeps one for himself and uh, skips Graynor, hands one to Brockus and Valera. Uh, <laughs> so you save one for Brockus whenever you find him? Oh, wait, no, no, not Brockus. Not Brockus. Fucking. Oh, man. Graynor. Sorry. He skips Graynor, hands one to Brockus. Valera. Brockus isn't there. Oh. Well, he saves, he saves the other one for Brockus. Gotcha. I thought he was like silently following us. This doesn't hey. work like that. Nope, he <laughs> is laid up. He He's is herderoony. He survived a fireball attack. Yeah, he yeah. And now he, he gets a, he be, now he gets a little resting. beholder. He gets he a got, little beholder. He, gets he a little got thing. second and third degree burnt. Possibly. Third <laughs> burnt. See, yeah, he's gonna have some stars. Yeah. He's marveling over this cute little thing and he kind of turns to look at carry on he's like oh my friend this is precious thank you he looks at the single gold coin he has left and he just and then and then just totally not subtle at all uh he will give him 10 gold and, uh basically what the shit i already forgot his name uh what the oh, oh, he's the old man. right yeah Basically, that gold he gave to him, uh, 
will give to Carrion. He he pushes the coins back to you. No, no. This, nope. This is nope. Hey. this is stuff for you. You could always for... give it to us. As you see, uh, a f about three or four guys kind of stumble forth, uh, kind of smirking as you guys are having this little push of gold contest. He kind of looks at them, looks them up and down, ignores them, and goes back to carry on. He's like, "You just got me the cutest damn little thing, and I'm gonna give this to you." Besides, once we knock the shit out of these guys, you might get more. And he smiles. I mean, you know, that is a good thing, but your family needs it more as he starts, like, <laughs> it starts, like, the, the muscle contest. Solera, Just... Solera, this is why I hold on to the money. <laughs> <laughs> I've uh, already probably, hidden. It's probably for the best. <laughs> I, I'm already hiding. Damn, she'd be sneaky. <laughs> Uh, give me a stealth check if you're gonna jump that quick. <laughs> you got this, you got this, you got this. Nat 20! Yeah. Oh, okay. okay, okay, fair enough. You, as soon as I, they I, turn, you're I already over, gone. Yeah, I look over to, I look over to Salerna and just say it and just what and just gone. Where, just where did the woman go? She Why did turned she, into where vapor. Did she go? As you Must remember all the times she has done this to you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> always getting ghosted. Oh, I always but, come um, back. Yeah. Look, my family may need it. I can always get more. You just bought me this really cute thing. Yeah, and yes, he is literally, literally having this argument with <laughs> with the three men behind him. <laughs> this is something he does rather often because he just don't care about them. Yeah. What a dick. As they all just go back into the tavern. They seem to have just been hanging out outside for a moment, but then they go back in to get wasted. As you realize quickly, they weren't like muscle bound motherfuckers. They were just, you know, but a, a couple of scrobbies, but they're just like, you're fucking asshole. Why, yes. It's not something to be proud of. Is <laughs> the last one just walks inside. Uh, he just shrugs. Yeah. Salerna, if you can hear me, they're they're gone now. I'm already standing next to you. <laughs> oh, God damn it! <laughs> I asked you to please just at least like whistle or can we, can we put a bell on you or something? It's that would well, defeat the purpose. I understand. Exactly. But why? Why would you put? And by the way, that little disappearing thing. Brilliant. Awesome. <laughs> Fucking terrifying! Please keep doing it. It's just really discerning when I, you know, when you appear out of nothingness. There's a, uh, yeah, you I'm, see a head kind of peer out the window. <laughs> You're gonna keep talking on me front porch. Are you gonna be making your way inside? <laughs> sorry, sorry. I'm not done talking to you. About no, Izzy something. slides away. Oh, no, he's Lord. following him now. As the yep. barmaid and kind of watches as you're just right behind him trying to get his attention, she just squints her eyes at the two tieflings that are making I'll be right back. a fucking event right now <laughs> as they come inside. <laughs> are, you all bo are you all having a gaff? Or are you here for some drinkage? A mixture of both. A fun mixture. Carrion gets a, a great idea. Keep your gold and just buy me a drink. Does that work? Mmm. You won't accept the drink. You'll know I'll just drink it afterwards. Fair. My family... And I can survive without the ten pieces. I take it. And as I said, we'll just find more. That's a lot of money to just find somewhere. Oh, it happens quite often. If you're I... lucky. Fuck, I guess I've been unlucky all my life. I actually had to work yeah. for the things I got. But she won't.
uh, honey wine. I ain't got that kind of thing here. So we uh, we no. got we got ale, we got some brewers wine, and we got some uh, Bavarian's red. Hmm. So, mm. like, an okay wine. But the ale, that, that stuff is, is tankered right here in Waterdeep. And we had a, 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 a small packet of uh, of caramel, causing the, the hops and the flavour to really dance with it. That's about as, uh, as uh, shimmering as it gets. Sorry, love. Oh, that's fine. Uh, whatever one gold coin can uh, can cover, and what's the easiest on the throat? As he points to his neck. I was drink is about a silver piece, love. So one gold get you about ten of them. Sure thing. Ten. All right. It's a bit early. That's what you want to do. And she takes her gold coin and uh, puts it into her tits as she uh, starts pouring several uh, tankards as she uh, <laughs> cleans them with what looks to be a somewhat dirty rag. And then uh, lays out ten whole back. pints of uh, of uh, caramel ale. Just, it just seems like we move from pub to pub. That seems to be... <laughs> <laughs> Look, well, maybe wrong you have a that. problem. Yeah, I think <laughs> I think there's uh, something that needs addressing within the group. Mm. Uh, the group we all need a life insurance policy on your livers. Well, to be fair, uh, the second one was a, like a curio shop, so. No, you're right. We stopped at a gift shop in between <laughs> in between parts to make to make unwise, unnecessary purchases while drunk. Yes, I agree. This is not unnecessary. This is adorable. Get it right. Exactly. Okay. Total agreement. I, I need a Constitution saving throw for any who are taking a drink. Yeah. Point. Fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. Oh no! Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> both, both of you get schlickety schlockered uh, as you taper out the rest of these booze. Both of you take a point of exhaustion. Hell yeah! You are at yeah. first level of exhaustion. Make sure to all mark it down for y'all. Uh, yeah. As stated before, yeah, this uh, gives you a negative one to all rolls. Until you take a short rest. Where do I find my exhaustion again on D&D Beyond? Uh, they track it a little differently. You can track it in the, our chat. Uh, the way I'm doing right now. Yeah, I was going to put it in notes. You can, absolutely. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. But I'm also putting it right here as well, just to help. As the two of y'all have been competently bivated mm. by the fine intoxicants, is, are the either of the other two of you doing anything? No, I feel like I need to babysit. So <laughs> <laughs> need to be our designated yeah. drunkard. Yeah, I'll hold I'll hold my coin purse and sobriety for the sake of the group. As, as yeah. you hold it, you just you see this bit, this dad energy exuding from you. As you see, they're they're taking these shots. No, sorry, they're taking these pints in one hand, and in the other hand, they have these glowing fucking little beholders. <laughs> he's just he's just a head on the table, kind of just poking at his little beholder. Hmm. I'm gonna call you Mr. Bubbles. And his head slams on the on the table. You say yep, seems what? about right. He says he's gonna call the beholder Mr. Bubbles, and his head slams on the table. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> Oh my fucking god! 
you didn't. Oh my fucking god. Continue, everyone. What's happening? That's that's what Bug named my horse. That's not why I'm groaning. Oh. I'm just trying to figure out which one he's recognizing. <laughs> Continue, uh... kids. <laughs> but yeah, uh, you um, yeah, yeah, um, uh, fine, fine, madam. Thank you for the drinks. Have we already uh, asked about Flume? Yeah, we need... Oh. Where's Flume? Who's... Better yet, why? What? What? Why just Flume? I just ignore them. Where is Flume? We need to find Flume. Have you seen a man who looks like Fabio? I don't know why I've got to tell you nothing. Got you there. Oh, where... oh, shit, sorry. Well, he could be in trouble. Yeah. You wouldn't want to help someone out if no. they're in trouble? Why? Because I don't care. I've got my business. I've got my own shit to take care of. Yeah, he's just got to serve beautiful people like us. And if he's in right, trouble. Miss... Yeah, and if there's any trouble, whatever I tell you is going to come back to me. Yeah. But that's, dangerous. but that's the problem, is right now there is trouble, and it is coming back to you. What we're trying to do is get it away from you. Mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. let's, let's just... If you tell us where Flume is, we can get away from you with this trouble, and avoid the trouble here. <sighs> help me help you. <laughs> uh, I already helped her by paying for some drinks. Oh, Re yeah. Reggie! Uh you, uh, you saw those two, right? I did, yeah. I, uh, was here a couple nights ago. After, uh, that there big bushy bearded one <clears throat> left. That, uh, redhead. He, uh, stuck alone long enough to, uh, to meet, uh, another, uh, another fella. Uh, re another redhead, I really think. Do all the redheads kind of come together, I, I wonder. Well, he looked uh, much more familiar. And I think uh, it was a real chip off your block, that one. Yeah! He's just in a spoiled rich noble who likes to run in the nose at it. Both of them, truly that. Oi! Both of them are some of them. I remember seeing the two of them playing some Three Dragon Ante. Uh, left around midnight. Then, well, I was leaving not too long after. One of them uh, saw a group of fellas. And, uh, no one, uh, it's really hazed darkness, but uh, I believe I saw one of them making his way down. So, uh, I think he was going down Candle Lane, but he broke it off and walked into an unseen building. Beyond that, I don't know nothing. I kept my, my nose down. But, uh... It's the same building I think it might be. I don't say it is. Look for the snake on the door. But who I think it is. Your friend there. He's in quite the pickle. Who, and who do you think it is? I think I'm going to speak all them big names out here. Gang territory. Soon to get me cock cut off. Yeah! Get his cock cut off. That's what they do. You, you wouldn't have a pickle to get in trouble with. Yeah, well, some other motherfuckers will gouge up the eyes and press the thumbs into your eye sockets <laughs> and piss down your neck. 
Real buggers. No one's pissing on anyone, that's gross. Shut up. They don't sound very nice. You don't need to say uh, names, and but if you know any sort of uh, identifier, we can we can uh, put together what you're putting out. <clears throat> well, I guess I'll say this: pseudo dragons fly quite high. They know how to change their skin twice as quick. Saturday. You don't know what that means. You're in the wrong city. I gather what you're saying, but I, uh, I'd assumed the, these dragons, uh, were far to the southeast. Well, my friend, they were. See, uh, they had to fly north for the winter. Big spring's coming. Melt and thaw. And after all the hullabaloo at the dragons in Baldur's Gate, well, little soda dragons had to be smart. No one wants to deal with the tyrants down south, now do they? No. Big business. That is done in the biggest city there is. Big things are coming, boy. If you know who I'm talking about, you know exactly why you should probably get the fuck out of this district and go back to your... As he looks you up and down, meager lifestyle. As he goes back to his drink. I mean, that is an accurate assessment of my lifestyle. <laughs> <laughs> he really nailed me on the, like, on the head there. That's... Okay, well, um, these, and these red-headed, were these, were these, uh, red-heads dragons as well? No. No. This is a couple of rich dummy heads. Got themselves roped up in a bad situation. Any idea who these ginger snaps are? Weren't she the one that said his name was Floon? At least one of them. Couple of rich buggers. Off their own chin, that one. Just having a hard time wrapping around the fact that there's a rich dune... Uh, a rich uh, scraper of... of <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, if you provide I'm a service well... Royal Service Cell and your family's been in this business since its beginning. Yeah, see, run he, the guild of dung sweepers. Yeah, he doesn't sweep it himself. He has people for that. Exactly. It's like a, it's like a Faroon Donald Trump. <laughs> hey, my father get, let, left me alone. Of 200 dragons, and I turned it into 100 dragons. Is that not skill? <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Mm. The art of the dung. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Fucking perfect. <laughs> Fucking perfect. Sun Tzu, the art of dung. Yep, yep. Ah, uh, Sun Tzu. Oh, that was the dragonborn. Yeah, he had many good quotes. <clears throat> yeah, he's well, uh, can't be that good. Oh, right. We uh we do appreciate that information. Um and uh where you said the 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 place where can we find it in Candle Street, you said? Candle Street. I oh, that Candle Street. Look for the snake. Okay. What's up? Arian slides him one of the caramelized ales. Or the caramel ale ales. It does sound delicious. He oh, takes it without really question. Good. Thank you. You know, you're a good friend. Wish I could say the same. As he drinks it. <clears throat> I see Candle Lane. 
proud of you. I love yeah. having a map. I'm glad you do. I'm glad you guys have this asset. That I'll definitely have to add in post. I forgot to stream it. <laughs> Tarion will get up and walk water. out, exclaiming to floof. <laughs> Yes. Oh, wait, wait for me, buddy. Yes, the floof. Yeah, the floof. The the f the floof. The f something. Floof. Floof. Yeah, floof. Yeah. When we're oh, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> we're out of when we're out of your shot of the bar. Um, I'll pull. Uh. Solara side and explain that um, once the other two sober up, I'll explain this to them, but I think we have some dealings here with the Zentarum. Am I supposed to know who that is? You should. Uh, yes. Give me a history check there, Solara. It's okay if you don't know who they are. Uh, uh, history with my plus zero and uh -huh. my nat one. <laughs> she has ha you look at her and she is dead serious. She <laughs> has never had to deal with and, and you you realize in the year you've been here, you haven't had to deal with the Zinterim either. They mm -hmm. must be recently pushing in uh and based off the conversation he was having. Uh, something big must be going down in fucking Baldur's Gate. Cause them to get the fuck out of there and start setting up shop here. Or something big is happening here that's drawing them in. Well, the Zintarum are a, uh, a group, uh, like a mercenary company. Um, you know, usually they operate out of, uh, I'm trying to remember, the Moonshays, I want to say. So they operate. Oh, they operate out of not, uh, the Moonshay Isles. They operate south of here through Baldur's Gate. They operate through uh, parts of Koromir, and they operate down to uh, the Detrin Pass. Yeah, I just meant their 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 stronghold was uh, in the southeast of here, right? It it was yes. The Western Heartlands, yeah, uh -huh. yeah. Um, anyways, yeah, I'll explain in simple terms that it's essentially like a, uh, a large, uh, uh, association, um, that works in this part of the world in shadows. Um, you know, they serve dark gods, were led by a powerful wizard, um, and they are generally people that you do not want to get on the bad side of. Hmm. Interesting. And the their symbol is a dragon. Very much like what what uh, what we were describing earlier. That's why when we were speaking code about dragons, that's who I believe he's referring to. So I think if we follow this uh, serpent, we're going to come across uh, some people who might be uh, uh, representing the Zentarum in this city. Hmm. Well, all I have to say is it's a good thing that you're the mouth. You were, you did good back there. Thank you very much. I fear for the uh, the other two here. I don't know how helpful they'll be in any uh, encounter that we uh, find ourselves in. Oh, yeah. Carrion's gone to a well to try to wash himself down with. Vivilius is just holding his little beholder toy and he's twirling around. Yeah, maybe we should get some rest. <laughs> yeah, I was going to ask if you guys wanted to take a short rest. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it might be a good idea. <laughs> be a very good idea for a short rest. Y'all take about an hour to kind of come it down. The two of them vomit up some of their contents. Uh, 
after some much needed time of comfort and ease, uh, <clears throat> both of you lose your uh, point of exhaustion as you I, simmer down. I still can't believe that you spent your last point on a copious amount of booze. Uh, I got ten more. Ten more... Coins. Yeah, he was oh, given coins right. by someone who has no coins either. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's true. So he did accept my coins? Yep. Okay, good. They're what yep. we would refer to as easy marks. Yep, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> I'm half tempted to pick their pockets myself. Hmm. I say in 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 full uh, audience of our companions, so so they know. Well, it's just smile better. <laughs> course he does yeah <laughs> what did you just say he giggled and said sucker <laughs> well my head is killing me worth it Oh yeah, that was some good stuff. That was some very good stuff. It was very nice. Help, help with my throat a little bit. Yeah, are you alright? Mm-hmm. Good. Never better. So that was some good ale shit. Mm. But, uh, but yeah. Better. Hey. Uh. Yeah, it's balancing somewhat awkwardly. You're gonna knock us off. Uh-oh. Oh, that's cool. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, I, w I wish it didn't just say what it was, but whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I promise not to read anything. No. Let us go to this random bar that's definitely not a hideout. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, in fairness, we already put together that that's what this is. Yeah. You did. Yeah. And that's why I'm not, I don't feel as bad about yeah. this. But, Whereas uh, if we were just like, we don't know what we'll find here, and then you're just like, God, that would piss me off. I'm like, I'm, <laughs> I'd be so, I'd be working so hard to, 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 while you guys are distracted, just like crossing it out. Okay, you come outside of a ramshackle two-story warehouse. You see the sigilage of a snake coursing. Uh, as the gloom envelops the narrow alley, as dark as a deep dungeon, this door of the area has an odious sense of foreboding pass. Nearly all the street lamps have been smashed. The only light that uh, pierces the darkness is the one that ca uh, that sits as a lone misty candle. As your group stands firm just outside, uh, harder to, uh, to see about. You don't immediately hear anything inside. What is that? Is there any name on this, uh, or just the symbol? You see hanging a old broken sign that says, uh, uh, that has like an X over it that used to say Pilmoth's Warehouse and, uh, of uh, uh, it has like a big old X through it, and on the door it said uh, it has uh, in coarse letters underneath the snakish symbol it says condemn. Hmm. I mean, I don't know world. Just moving around 
before he'll he'll look at the door and give it a knock. Give it a knock. Yep, I'm give gonna hide. Knock. Yeah. <laughs> you knock on the door. Or uh being the one who knocked on the door, please give me a perception check. A specific perception thing. check. Yeah. Uh, uh, that has like an X over it that used to say Pilmoff's Warehouse and, uh, of uh, Material Guys. Uh, it has like a big old X through it, and on the door it said uh, it has uh, in coarse letters underneath the snakeish symbol it says Condemn. Hmm. I mean, I don't know world. Moving around for he'll he'll look at the door and give it a knock. Give it a knock. Yep, I'm give gonna hide. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you knock on the door. Or uh being the one who knocked on the door, please give me a perception check. A specific perception thing. check. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, oh, wait, 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 what? <laughs> As I need you to... knock <laughs> and you listen, you hear a voice inside. You hear what sounds like a, a human uh, calling out, uh, Hello? Is someone there? Yeah, what's up? <laughs> yeah, just to be clear, I, I have hidden. <laughs> <laughs> I'm as, gonna. <laughs> as as you hear a separate voice uh, say, "Ah, uh, come on, come inside." Go ahead inside. Uh, can I can I put my hand on <laughs> on his uh, on his shoulder? He did get a literal zero. I, so I know. Let you put your hand on his shoulder. I'm walking in. Oh. Okay. <laughs> What are you He's trying to drunk. do, buddy? <laughs> you can't uh, be helped. Na yeah, Nash, what were you trying to do? I was going to try and warn him that it's probably not why. Go for it. Warn him. Okay. <laughs> I'll say these are not friendly types. You should not be... You're wandering into a literal den of snakes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I'm the queen of Waterdeep. <laughs> well... Enjoy your time in the den of snakes, your your majesty. <laughs> <laughs> walk in. You walk right in. As the group of y'all stay behind at the door. Yeah. We see him walk into this place. Um, which one would you say is you? Mm, let me watch the stream real quick. Which one looks like a corpse? <laughs> uh, you're the fighty one, so you're gonna be the yeah, guy. Give me, the, give me the armor, boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna be like, oh, where am I? What's going on? <laughs> you know, he, he was the most confused. Uh, yeah, let me see. Yeah. We're all by this. Yep. Uh, oh, sorry. This is the door. I'm sorry. As you go inside, yep. this place is kind of dark. So you're like, oh, motherfucker, I, I got, uh, you know, do you, you, do you give yourself a light source, or do you like strike up a torch, or what do you do? Oh, you, you, I, since I'm tiefling, I should have dark vision, or at least like some form of it. You, yeah, we have like sixty feet, right? Yeah, do. dark. Uh, I have dark vision. Yeah. Yes, you have dark vision. It is pitch black in here, but I'll say that you're able to see. You're able to see uh, some some such. As you step inside walk forward as you blink in your your eyes. What color are your eyes again? Pale brown. Pale brown as we see amidst the dark uh, a pair of pale brown eyes that, uh, or with no sclera dance across the area bound. As they look left and right you walk and make your way in as you begin to see multitude of corpses. Like... <laughs> multiple dead bodies littering this area. Each of them, uh, you would say about at least 
five just in this room. And then blood that leads up the stairwell. And one of them, bearing the tattoo, is very reminiscent of a certain companion of yours. As you oh. are able to see such figure, as you then go ahead. He was going to ask, oh, are you friends with the fine woman, Yorga? You grasp the dead corpses? <laughs> the, the dead corpses mm. were the ones with her tattoo. Oh, I thought you meant there was someone standing there. No, like, oh, never mind. No, <laughs> no but never mind. But you do no. see, as they lie dead, uh, partway up the stairs, you do see a figure that seems to lean to look to you. His little man really does look so confused. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, it's, appro it's appropriate for sure. As you see someone up the stairs, what do you do? Uh, I am looking for someone, if you could help me real quick. As the figure... It's zero mention of the dead bodies. <laughs> As you see the figure... Uh, step forward... As you see a, f uh, a feathery body with a long beak, and then to the left of you and to the right, you hear in a perfect human voice, Oh no, why, why are you doing this? You shouldn't have come here. As each of them mimic a perfect human voice. <laughs> please, please, I've got kids. As they start coming in close. And one coming up behind you. What do you do as you are surrounded by Kanku? He uh, he just looks at him, says, "All right, well, I was expecting Yorba to be here, but no." They look amongst themselves, like. Fuck are you talking about? And one of them looks to you, um, uh, brandishing weapon, and points at the dead bodies. Were you with them? He has to get a look at the uh, the bodies again, real quick. Oh Jesus! <laughs> As you look them <laughs> real hard, and yeah, that that's the the same same sigil as uh, uh same sigil as Yarga. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, no, not really with them. Not really with them. Who, who are you? As uh, one oh, of them... You're surrounded. As uh, another one cries out, He's a deceiver! He's got to die. Yes, yes. Please, please. Please, don't make it difficult. Yeah, yeah. Make sure to lie down. Make it easy. As uh, we peer outside, as y'all are waiting outside the door, and you see, you hear him talking to multiple voices. Oh, dear. Well, he's gone and done it. Yep. Is, uh, are there any other entrances into here other than this main door? Uh, you see a window, uh, towards the, uh, southern side. Uh, I'm going to point at the window and say, uh, Salerno, that might be, uh, a better route for you than just walking right in the front door. Yep, I, uh, I'll, I'll take that window. Hey. Uh, I will need you to make an acrobatics check to get through it without being noticed and affected. 18. Nice. Yeah, you were able to uh, get cleanly through, uh, not even uh, barely needing to press up the length of it, and then being able to slide your body in and through without an issue. Now, now wait, who are you calling a deceiver? I've told you the truth the entire time. To say, 
much to say about it. And then you hear the voice of young child. Please, please don't make this hurt. Oh, oh, look, haven't you killed enough already? Ah! Yeah. Danithar would want my... this one to be taken care of. You know it. Yeah, I'll, I'm going to be readying my crossbow because that's okay. creepy. Readying your crossbow. What do the two outside do? Uh, he kind of looks looks over to him and he's like, do you just want to go through the door or? Oh, it's a short bow. Sorry. Are you, I'm trying to figure out, oh, you're also a sorcerer. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, draconic. Uh, I mean, I don't want to go through the door, but I will... I can try and support him from the doorway. <laughs> I'll go to the doorway and pull out my crossbow and peer in and see if I can see anyone. Uh, because of your half-elven ancestry, uh, you're able to see this guy right here and kind of see this fella here. You see a pair of black-feathered folk uh, with their weapons, and they, they seem to be jeering at your companion. Uh it looks like they've been discussing amongst themselves what best to do to him. Look, quit jeering at me like that. <laughs> you're not part of the jesters. I'm gonna. You're not I, with the jesters, are you? I'm gonna. I'm gonna ready an action that if they they move to attack him, I'm gonna fire a, a crossbow bolt. Up. Okay, holding action, copy. Yeah. Um. Uh -huh. I'm gonna be peering in as well. I'll also ready if they try to do... Uh, first off, ooh, 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 ooh. Uh, I peer in. Who can I see? Uh, you are able to see one, two, and you think he's talking to someone on the stairwell. Alright. Well, the one that's directly across from me. Um, okay. Ready in action. If he tries to do something, I'm going to hit him with a firebolt. Okay. As yep, and team. I'm gonna I'm gonna creep up just enough so that they're in range. Um, what would I have to roll to? Because there is no light in there, and I'm a human. I cannot see. Uh, you'll be but rolling I can a hear disadvantage. Them. Okay. Right. Why? If you have so, on, yeah. I'm stalling for time, and I'm going to be. Uh, I'm going to strike at anyone as soon as my team makes a move. Okay. You all begin waiting for each other. <laughs> yeah, uh, really. <laughs> I, I, I'm literally just stalling at this point, waiting for anyone to do anything. <laughs> <laughs> this is stalemate. As everyone could hear a pin drop in this moment. There is a calm reverence as, as the, uh, the opposition looks amongst themselves and look at this fellow. Oh, if you're, if you're going to kill me, then get on with it, because quite clearly you all are magnificent people and I don't want to take much of your time. <laughs> also, who uh, runs the one over there? Such fine feathers. Who runs into a house and then waits for everybody else's action? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, make me a persuasion check with that one real quick. A persuasion check? Uh-huh. Oh well, you just Lord. complimented them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but mean, he's lying. Credits. That's what a persuasion check is. <laughs> I know. When you lie to someone. <laughs> well, it's deception, actually. Persuasion. Oh, true. Well, yeah. 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 He's trying to persuade them to like him. Yeah, can't we just talk this over a He's drink? You know? As what did you roll? I'm sorry. I got a fourteen. As one, the one that you're talking to kind of fluffs up the feathers. Wow, you really think so? Yes. Look, I I have seen many a kenku in my time, and none have such voluptuous and full feathers as you. Oh, you're very kind. As that one seems to drop its guard, as the one behind you makes its move to stab into the back, 
And as it prepares to do so, the party has some prepared actions for engagement as you guys get... Uh, so we're going to roll for initiative, but for the first mm -hmm. round, uh, you guys will get am uh, to ambush the target. So you guys will get to go first automatically. Uh, we're just now rolling for the future initiative. And I'll go off of you guys' initiative on who's going first. Fine. Well, it's Valius, Charon, uh, so, so, uh, myself, and then Solera. With 13, 12, 6, and 5. We're, we all ate a bag of dicks. Well, <laughs> at least for your ambush round, you all went before the bad guys. Yeah. Yep. We're... Okay. All right. I. Um, God damn it! Why is everything fighting me? Fuck you, robot. You work for me. Do as I say, not as I do. Okay. <laughs> so... Okay. Just, it has been distracting me. Does anybody else see the loincloth on the orc as a waggling, flaccid penis? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've seen it. it. You can't unseen it. That was actually a horny <laughs> test that we put in place. <laughs> Come on! Why did you have to say that? <laughs> Fucking a. <laughs> okay. Final. Okay. So, beginning us off. We are going to have Valilius. Yes, uh, I have a question. The one that I said that I can see that's in front of me, and uh -huh. was he the one that dropped his guard? No. Or is it the one that's in? Okay, so I'm just gonna roll I, this. Remember, I can turn him to look however he's going. So currently, he's facing this one at the stairwell. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay. Uh... So this one is making his move to attack. And you Whoop. fireball him. Yes. Oh, fireball. fireball. I was going to say, please don't yeah. fireball. fireball. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, it'll kill us all. Kill okay. us I do all. not have that. Is yet. that what happened to Bracus? Solaris would, is the only one that will survive this encounter. Oh, I don't. I don't think a seven hit. As the fireball, uh, firebolt goes wide as a. Uh, we see it uh, scurs across and over their heads as the flash of light of the fireball uh, allows everyone to have vision for this turn as it skirts giving yes. light. Yeah! There you go. I was, I, I was banking on that. You're welcome. As, uh, was there anything else you tried to do? I don't think I have any bonus actions, no. <laughs> As we come straight on over to our companion, Carrion, as uh, you are given warning by your friend as a fire bolt whizzes over, lighting up the room, you know the one behind you is making an attempt to move. Then, uh, as this happens, he'll make his attack on the one going after him from behind. Okay, go for it. Swing hefts his axe behind him. As it- He gets an 11 comes down, this one it has to it maneuvers and barely dodges your incoming axe as you punch into a box that it was standing uh, directly on as it has to maneuver just in the vein of way. As was there anything else you tried to do? No, but he'll uh, he'll look back at the, uh, the Kenku and say, I like you but your friend is not very nice. So he punched a bird in the box? Yep, he punched a bird in the box. Bird box. As we come over, uh, yeah. we see ourselves coming over to um, uh, some No, sorry, uh, Graynor got one point higher. Okay, Graynor. Uh, I will fire a crossbow bolt at the, uh, the individual, not the one that he's attacking, but the one uh, a little bit to the north of him. 
Okay. Give a shot. Let's see it. Thirteen. But, oh, excuse me. Jeez. God damn. Uh, that is going to hit. Oh, cool. All right. Yep. Uh, seven damage. All right. As this Kenku is, yeah. Uh, there we go. As you see, this uh, this Kenku takes the strike hard. As uh, detail the hit for me. Uh, he like the uh, fire the fire bolt kind of lights up the room. And as the the uh, Kenku kind of rears back, realizing now it's seen, a, a, a bolt streaks from the doorway, and thuds into its uh, into its chest. Oh yeah, F- fire bolt for days in this room right now. <laughs> as we come on over, uh, as it comes over to Solera. All right. Ten. As you launch your crossbow bolt, it punches, uh, it whizzes between the legs of the uh, the crowing bastard as uh, you miss Arena. As the round starts at the top, uh, beginning with uh, the fella on the stairs, as this all is happening... Uh, seems to be the weakest willed one and prefers not to engage. See, you I like as well. As that one pulls back and is like, fuck this one. Uh, the one who is coming under fire, uh, directly from behind, moves to take cover. And kind of like take it. The- They're all around us! They got us surrounded! Did he just move away from me? Uh, yes, he did. And you're currently you faced this way. Uh, you but he's technically in your cone of vision. You can, uh, you can make an attack. Yeah, go for it. I did I'm not say. It. Yeah, he, I didn't say he disengaged first. You're right. I'm a dingus. Or more accurately, oh. he's a dingus. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh no. Nice. Okay. Uh, yeah. Roll the damage uh, twice. I can re-roll that too because of my uh, my fighter. You you don't have. I mean, you can if you want to. Yeah. That, yeah he's he's you super dead. Him. You killed him. Yeah. How do you kill him? As he uh, as the bolt whizzes by him and he attempts to take cover, as he gives him this look, as the flame is starting to as the flame started to die down as he uh after bringing his axe down hefts it to the side and cleaves it into him reeling him back violence and blood scatters as feather and claw lays in bisected violence oh was that the one i like no that was no. here oh yeah him. the one that you like went up the stairs not the fuck out Yep, he was like, I don't want to kill this this guy. He's nice. Can you stop crushing on the enemies and just kill them, please? No. Yeah, I mean, with his actions, you guys uh, may be closer to the Zentrum than you think. Uh, so, killed that guy. Good stuff, you know. We. Yeah. Uh, this. <laughs> it is now this fella's turn. As this Kenku sees a pair of light shows coming from over here, uh, it's uh, going to take cover by this box right in front of it as it's going to fire its own crossbow at the doorway. Attack the darkness. As it is able to see, thanks to all the light shows as well, um... Raynor, uh, does a 13 beat your AC? Does not. 
as the arrow flies forth, and you're currently by the door, which gives both of you half cover. Uh, so yeah, it wouldn't have hit you anyway. As the arrow uh, punches into the door, uh, the arrow tip barely missing your nose. As you, you pull your head back just in time. I need that thing. As it is uh, y'all's uh, turn starting still one fella, but he is after two of y'all. So we come over to Velilius. I'm gonna... Let me take a look at this right quick. Do you mind uh, zooming in? Please be looking at your abilities between your actions so we don't take all your time when we come to you. No, no, no. no. I'm asking about the board. I'm, I'm asking everybody. What's up? What part about it? Yeah, can you, do you mind just zooming in on the board right quickly? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Right there? Thank you. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna peek on out and firebolt again. Pew! Yeah! Uh, which one? This one this one? This one's kind of uh, in half cover. This one is standing on a box fighting him. I, yeah, let's screw it. Let's, let's get the one on the box then. Okay. Yeah, but I don't think an eight will hit, so... As you fire forth, you, you find your hand uh, kind of hurting... As it whizzes over uh, once again, as you you realize Damn. this is the first time that you'd be taking like a life. As you're watching yourself, as you're coming to the realization that this was you keep missing because part of you has no desire to kill these people, but you want to save your companion, so you keep missing from this level destruction yeah he turns back and kind of just puts his hands to his face and kind of move them down to his neck uh, that's my turn as we come forth carrion you have a guy in a box that's fighting you and you got a guy behind boxes shooting you can I kick this box from underneath his feet? Give it a shot. Uh, strength check. Strength athletics. Strength athletics. Fifteen. Yep, as you kick the box from behind, the enemy tumbles, taking... Uh, two points of damage, but is now on his back. Un uh, and we'll have to take an entire movement action just to stand up. As it is his turn. Uh, here, I'll do this quick. Bunk. And then he gets back up. And, uh, but he has difficulty making his way to his feet. And so he has disadvantage to attack you on this turn. He's gonna try. And is completely unable to strike you. As he's, uh, he top onto the ground and he's trying to stab at your leg as he's trying to get up. Uh, and for a moment, you think he starts trying to flap his wings, as though that's going to help anything. Look, you might as well give up. Say that as it, as this one uh, chortles at you, and now it is Nash's turn. I would like to uh, cast Minor Illusion. Um upstairs so the sound will be coming from the upstairs uh, area okay. and i'd like to create the voice of a kanku yelling like i surrender they're upstairs i surrender what does a kanku sound like? Ah, i surrender ah. they sound like perfect perfect invitations of people oh Okay, uh... Whatever that... Whatever the particular Kanku that I heard... Ah, uh, okay. In a, race, in a racist recreation of a stereotypical Kanku. Uh, <laughs> you give a racist recreation of a stereotypical Kanku. Oh. Not one of the good ones. One of them is actually made infuriated. Because it, it, oh, it, it, no. it's so obviously full of shit. Uh, the other one... This, uh, uh, this one is so engaged as, uh, this one is just like, what the fuck? As you, at least to the very least, have distracted him 
from <laughs> attempting anything. Meanwhile, this one at the top of the stairs is, Oh, goodness gracious me! <laughs> Just stay there if you don't want to die. As, as they are afraid and begin running downstairs. Uh. <laughs> trying to get out yeah, of here. You idiot. That's perfect. I have I have a snake in the grass for them. As uh Solera, what do you do? I'm gonna move uh to where I have cover um adjacent Five. to the like uh to the to the right. So 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 over here? Yeah. Oh, but I, I wanna I wanna move where I have a, a shot. Uh, can I see from there? Uh you can see over this desk, yes. Okay. Can I aim at the one attacking my companion? This one right here? Okay. Go for it. Okay. Apparently gets no I'm tem- cover. Oh go ahead. Yeah. Oh, I said I was tempted for a second to uh, to go non-lethal, but that one seems like a dick. 21. Yup. And, and I can get stealth, right? Uh, sneak attack? Yeah, uh, sne- sneak attack. So you do enough damage that this one is... Uh, tell me how it dies. Um, after the flash of the second bolt, I was able to, like, I could just see the impression of where they were, you know, like, blasted onto my retinas. And so I I aim where I think the one attacking my friend is, and the arrow sings toward it, pierces in its ear, and I'll... And you know, goes in a little bit deeper than is comfortable. And uh, yeah, if he falls over. What? Did you just make a sound effect? What's up? Yeah, I just made a sound effect from dying. Uh, uh, okay, okay. I was like, <laughs> perfect. Uh. Wait, wait, let me make the perfect sound effect for him dying. There you go. <laughs> I was gonna try to make the uh, the noise, but it didn't pick it up the first time. Perfect. Representing yeah. E himself. Self and I. As E falls dead, the other has to take a morale check. Oh. As we see uh, this one just takes cover as everything's become too much. And this one, seeing the situation is lost, uh, is going to see that there is no hope and begins running upstairs. And he runs past you to do so. Grab him. You grab him. A uh, strength athletics check. That's probably not it. As you reach forward and grab, you grab a a handful of feathers as he makes his way upstairs. Yeah, slippery shit. As this one ceases to be a combat. And it is... He just... Well, again, what do you do? He just looks at him. See, this is what happens when you don't attack me. You live. Yeah. Uh, he kind of pokes Combat. his head in. What? It ends? Yeah, yeah I mean, no. There's I was... no combatants. I mean. <laughs> it ends! Yay! Uh, he pokes his head in. He's like, You alright? Yep. Never better. And we have all a new right. friend, right? He kind of turns to look at this so called new friend. As uh, everyone. Those who wish to come closer. Yeah, uh, definitely. As he goes, yep. Uh, yeah, I fell over. <laughs> <He did. laughs> well. Oh, so now he's squawking. <laughs> he did. He was squawking throughout. 
They just that's, <laughs> that's what they what do. I said. <laughs> but you He's about to speak. As you hear uh, uh as you hear a woman's voice. Yes, no more fighting, please. Yeah, no. What's, this 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 is What's why with I all like the dead you. bodies? By your enemies. Members the... of Zentarim. So, doesn't that put us on the same side? Uh, no, we're not really no. with them. No, I mean, like, the dead bodies are the people that we came to confront. We came to confront and, the Centaurum. Yeah. And and you killed them? No, they, they are the Centaurum. No. The <laughs> oh, they're are not no. the Centaurum. They no. killed the no, Centaurum. The Kangu... Corpses are the Centaurum. Yeah, yeah the Kangu oh. just just said, you know, they were enemies. Uh, I see I heard they they were enemies of the Zentarum. That's what I heard. Yeah. Oh. As yeah, no. The Kenku uh simply uh makes what sounds like an uh a deep male orcish voice uh as uh he cackles Xanathar sins his regards. Ah. So you killed them? For Xanathar. For Xanathar? Or I'm confused. Mm-hmm. Sounds like you're not very bright. I'm not. That's okay, neither am I. <clears throat> or you're not explaining yourself very well. Nash, deal with this. Explain why you're here and who you are. And in, in one voice, ideally. Ah. A thin, nasally voice uh, comes in. No, use whatever voice you'd like. Uh, I'm it, speaking to the Kanku, please. As those who know about Kanku can only mimic the sounds and voices of the statements they have heard, as mm -hmm. it lets in a thin, nasally voice. Xanathar wants you to go in, butcher up the bastards, and see if you can find the damn thing. All you gotta do is clear up things. The proper team will take care of it. You just make sure no stragglers come inside. Remember, tie up the pretty boy in the back room. Remember to get to Xanathar's base. Follow the yellow signs in the sewer. Arr, no time to loot. Just get him to the boss. Okay. Uh, so I think we know where our buddy is, if he's still alive. Is there a boy a... is still alive, yes. Yes. Well, hopefully we haven't seen him to confirm that he's alive. Where, uh, where is, where is the pretty boy? And are there any more dangerous folk upstairs? Follow the yellow signs in the sewers. So does that mean that he's already been taken to Xanath? Okay, instead of speaking in code, why don't you just nod or shake your head? <laughs> As it takes a moment and thinks about it and kind of shrugs. Okay, is the pretty boy upstairs? He shakes his head now. Okay. Is he at this location, or did the... No, that's too many. Is he at this location? He nods as though he's saying prop. 
Okay. Where this would you be? Why don't you show us? Oh, Sorry, go, go ahead. ahead. Oh, I was going to say this location being where we are now or where the yellow lights are supposed to lead us to. Well, the, this location is what I was referring to. To rule that out. Because then we would have to follow the, the sewers to the other place. Sewers? Whatever you said. Is it yeah, not? he's sewers. confirming. Oh, yeah, okay. He's confirming we need to go to the sewers. Yeah. Hello! I, I hear lots of humanish and humanoid voices out there. And I heard a lot of violence. Can, can I come out now? Who is Who I? Who the hell is that? Please, I am very... A person. And very much not wanting to be harmed. I hope the birdie people are no longer being scary. Uh, where are you? As you hear the voice emanating from some boxes over in the corner. I'm, I'm gonna <laughs> go over and check. As you see, peeking up is an unharmed, red-haired fellow marred by grime and lingering stench of rancid pickled herring. As you see an overturned barrel that he seemed to have just come out of. Yeah. That's the gender just... snap. Ah. Good. Hi. Hello, good sir. Hello. May it be a thousand blessings and hopes to find such an illustrious fellow as yourself. I am so gladdened to see faces that are not of the uh, more villainous persuasion, though the group of you definitely do not look uh, the average term of heroic. <laughs> you have a silver tongue. He turns to the to the others. He's like, I think this is him. This is him, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, uh... Well, they said they said there were two ginger snaps. Only one oh, of them was floon. Oh, are, yes. Are you floof? You are talking about floon. That was quite the sweet fellow, for sure. I I am Reyna Neverember of the Neverember line of Neverwinter. Well, I've never heard of you. Uh, I'm sorry. I've also seen oh. I've never heard of you, Mr. It was a joke on your name, so... <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. That was actually very clever. I'm so sorry. I thought it was an insult. That was genius. No. Quite we... a smart one. We just saved you. Do we get some kind of reward? Of course. Of course. I will repay you with whatever is good kind and kindness for you. I I have kind of been stuck here for about a day and a half as these no offense, bird brains have caused some Ill near illustrious darkness about this place. It was quite problematic. I, I couldn't do much of anything. I smell like fish. Yeah. Hey. The royal bath will take care of that. Yeah. I mean, well, it's, it should be I re safe. I, I recommend, safe. I recommend bathing with lemon. I, I fortunately believe that because we are so similar of complexion, I believe they've mistaken my friend Floon for myself. Or at least new friend, I should say. Uh, you had spoke of him in the past tense. Does that mean he is no longer among the living? No, he, I believe he is still alive. I heard them taking him out back. Take him wherever he need, uh, they need him to go. And be taken in general. Uh, he, uh, I... Uh, as he seems to be withholding some information, but not knowing how to say it. Oh, you know what? Just, just take your time. I'm, I'm right here. You can breathe. Oh well, yeah. I I believe they've taken your companion, Floon, as they believe that. Uh, well, they've Zentrim thought that my father had been in 
embezzling large amounts of gold while he was the open lord, and that he had hid the dragons somewhere in the city. Uh, they think he, they can find it using some artifact, which was in the hands of the Xanathar's guild until recently. Until apparently someone stole it. The Zens thought I knew something about this, but I don't. My father and I haven't spoken in years, bastard. And here I am. Or, and more unfortunately, there Flume must be. Oh dear, oh dear. Um, do you have any idea who this, these, these other, uh, these other, I don't know what to call them, the sect is, or this group that is, uh, opposing the Zent? I believe they're members of Xanathar. You know of Xanathar, don't you? I'm not, I'm not familiar. I'm pretty sure he has a guide to everything. No. <laughs> Yes, guide to everything he's paranoid of. Xanathar is one of the most nefarious of all beholders. He runs the underworld of Waterdeep. Zentarim. That's whatever's going on. I want a piece of the Waterdeep pie. I have sworn y'all would know something. As each of y'all have heard the name Xanathar, but... It probably hasn't stuck too deep as you haven't had to deal with it, but as he says this, and you see the, the bodies littering about here, they seem to be willing to do anything to hold on to and pursue whatever they desire. Yes, now that you uh, you give context, I do, do recall a little bit about him, but I do not know uh, much about those who um, are under his uh, who are hired by him I my first dealings with them honestly I hate to say it I'd rather rather not talk to either of them but at least the Zentrum were willing to have conversation as you can see Xanathar is more slit first ask questions later yeah, he's not very nice, is he? Doesn't seem so. He brought on those, as he points at the Kanku beside you, to... Well, they've been clearing house for the past day and a half, keeping things secure. I mean... He looks He looks to the bird, and then he looks to the his companions. I mean, I, I don't really see any reason to, uh, to, to kill him. How do you suggest we, uh, keep him from going back to his master and telling him all about us? Mm, how much power do you have, uh, Never Ember Man? Um, Lord. My dad was Open Lord of Waterdeep. But no longer. Though I am still a lord of considerable strength, I of course can offer you some... I could even offer you some of my personal stash that they stole uh, while we were out. They, when they knocked us over, whenever we loaded into my wagon, it was my personal supply. I shouldn't be drinking and driving, but a little bit... In the cold, dark nights never really hurt too many people. I'm sorry that I shouldn't have been on. I was making terrible decisions, I know, but I think I know where they set things aside. Will let me pay you back for the kindness you've shown me. Oh, you're good. Mm. I mean, you could also make the Kenku work for you. Thank you. Yeah. Awful. Kindness. 
serving and I, rather than that nefarious creature, Xanathar. As he smiles, his, you see that his tooth glints light as the even the bird is like, that sounds like a great plan. <laughs> Me not dying? That's great. And you get to make some coin. You get to make shiny. That sounds most illustrious. Well, perfect. We have all made a wonderful day to ourselves. But, dear Floon is still, uh, still retained. She so ask of me, I would be willing to come along with and ensure Floon's safety. I swore to give him escort to his homestead. I failed him before. Give me this chance. I will repent my faith. I think we could, uh, we could do that. Uh. Yeah. I mean, if the Kenku's gonna follow you as well, um... Then you probably shouldn't have any problem fighting some former, uh, compatriots. Well, He's and there's... St there's still the one upstairs. You could make the same offer to him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> He goes to the base of the stairs and just yells up, Hey, you want to work for Lord Neverwinter? <laughs> you want a job? <laughs> you want a job? You want to you, you wanna live? You go to the base of the stairs, and as you go up and start yelling, you hear a window crash as they start <laughs> running out of here. <laughs> you are oh. missing. You are running away from one of the best job opportunities you could have had. He's, he's gone. <laughs> <laughs> gone. Just gone. Let me nope. hire He's you! Gone. He's gone. Nope. Nope. No so, reason. uh, I'm, I'm gonna look I'm gonna look at the, uh, the princeling and, and be like, so, your dad's really a, a, a dick, huh? Yeah, what, real what, what do you think the chances are that the thing about him stashing dragons is true? I don't want to believe in my father and brother. Even if he did, he may have been an asshole in person, but he did care about the people of the city. And he rose up what? from being a never ember of House Neverwinter. He became open lord. He really did care about his, his home, his hearth. Right, 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 right. But let's just say he did. Uh, well, any idea be... where that would be, um, I stashed? Know. I don't know where you would keep a million dragons, but I'm sure Oh, oh my. Sure it would be somewhere well secure. Right now, uh, it seems Xanathar mm -hmm. believes it's close to getting it. Zentarim might have it. I don't know whose hands it the, the stone of galore would be in by now. The key, if you will. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, Nash, you catching this? Oh, yeah. You're writing it down? You should you should probably write it down, because you know I won't remember. Yeah, I yeah I'll, I'll, I'll record this. <laughs> I figure while they're talking to him, and since he's already up these stairs, he might as well go take a look at what's on, like, the uh, the second level and see if there's anything worth grabbing. Still uh, making bad decisions. <laughs> after taking all the time that you can, you are able to find a total of 50 dragons worth of... Uh, broken open crates from caravans along the high road, uh, including a, containing 10 pound silver trade bars, all black and corrosive, but worth about 50 gold each at a first glance. Wow. If you can find Ugh. the right fence, as these each are marked with a clan mark of a dwarven clan. Ooh. House uh, Cranmar. A new guy. Uh... You said your offense. Uh, don't have to say it so loud. And he kind of he walks on over, his tail flicking a little bit aggr 
evaded it. Hey. I may know people, or You're into fencing not. as well. It's quite an e illustrious sport. Kind of looks oh, at him. Oh, you're also a fence, huh? I think he's speaking of a different sort of fence. You know, that, that done with rapier and the like. I, I am one of the most skilled of my family with rapier. Ah. And yeah, he's, 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 he's looking at her. And he's like, this, the look saying, this is why you don't say this out loud. <laughs> <laughs> and I just, I just shrug. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, yes. Fantastic sport. And he's going to walk over to her and kind of slightly a little bit bent down. She's, she's 5'2 and he's, I think, 5'8. Hold on, let me. He's 5'5. Five, five. <coughs> oh, yeah. So we're about the same height. Yeah, just and then, about. And then, yes, I, I do feel the mention, since you all are still downstairs, that he, uh, <laughs> carry on mentions, hey, there's, uh, there's about, like, you know, 50 dragons worth of silver up top. Oh, yeah. Meta. <laughs> okay, that happens before our previous conversation. <laughs> we'll, we'll just retcon that. <laughs> <laughs> But, um, yes. And then he kind of bends down, he whispers to her, and he's like, first off, don't say that too loudly, please. And second off, yes, technically, I am a little bit kind of dabbled in it, somewhat. Carry on comes to me of things, and I do my, you know, other stuff. Okay. Yeah. That's it. Uh-huh. You know? Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Wow, this is awkward. You will have to show me your fencing. Love sometimes. it. Sometimes it is quite a lovely sport. I mean, I do have another way of fencing, but it's probably not going to be your favorite. So the person oh, who's like, different yo, from a far off land. <laughs> Can you keep it on the download, please? I fence <laughs> <laughs> immediately <laughs> after next sentence. Well, he was, he was, he was hinting at a different type of uh, fun, but uh, this guy's fucking dense and he just stares at him <laughs> mind spending some time with the blade with thine skill and precision is what it's all about mm. well, yeah I'm just I'm just gonna s smile at the at, at, at the, the princeling and be like oh honey <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'll walk away from him <laughs> he's, just, he's just standing there like why me? Carry on. Will uh, will look at Lord Never Ember, or at least Prince Never Ember, and say, "Look, you you don't want a fence with her, especially because uh, the techniques." Yeah, it is a, a man. man. Oh man, my bad. So, <laughs> we've known each <laughs> we've known oh, each other how long? Look. But to be fair, you have some of the fairest features I have ever seen. Oh. Look, you can't discriminate in the face of beauty with people, all right? Stop it! Gonna turn me into a tomato, with both of you. I'd... Um, I, you know what? My my mind has completely just went off over this sunset. Where are we going? Okay. Now. Yeah, yeah. We'll deal with this later. Uh, sewers. Mm-hmm. Although, yep. we should probably stash the princeling somewhere safe. What do you mean stash? I'm coming with you. If you allow. Oh, I, I forgot. Sorry. <laughs> and now we're flying. Uh, I just, oh, oh, why are you kicking a little gremlin? <laughs> I, what did you do? I'm sorry. I, I'm just like that we're having this very lackadaisical conversation in a very dark warehouse area <laughs> with a bunch <laughs> of dead bodies all around us talking about fencing and silver and shit. <laughs>